Too many tens. Well, Ernst, you want to play a game? I've been waiting for you to ask. What do you have in mind? Well, I was thinking something like 20 questions or some kind of guessing game. That sounds fun. What about a game called Mystery Mixture, where we mix two things from our kitchen and the other person has to guess what our mixture is made of? That sounds exciting. What do you have in your kitchen? Oh boy, let's see. Got baking soda, baking powder, salt, sugar, laundry detergent powder. Got any of those? Rock on. I have all those things too. I'll be right back. I'm ready when you are, Mrs. Tungan. Show us how it's done. All right, here we go. I'm ready. Okay, so. I've got my mystery mixture all ready to go here. Ready to do a little laugh. Yes. All right, let's get started. You have your materials gathered? Well, let's see. I will just walk us through the ingredients really quick, just to recap. I've got cornstarch and cream of tartar, salt, powdered detergent, baking soda, and sugar. Um, and then I've mixed two of those things together and we'll see if you can guess it. And I hope I can guess yours too. Okay, I've got a well tray here. And in the well tray, I have all of those substances individually. And then I am going to go ahead and put the mystery mixture in one of the well trays so I can compare. I'm going to go ahead and drop water in each of these and note the reaction. So in the cornstarch, I am seeing just the water be absorbed by the cornstarch. Hmm. Okay. Ready, Mystery Mixture? Ooh. Some bubbling? A little bit of fizzing? Yeah, I got some bubbles. There we go, I can hear the fizzing. Excellent. Well, here we go. We're going to let you see what happened there. The mystery mixture is down in the corner. And I'll take a pic and send it to you too, Ernst. Alright. Alright, Mrs. Tungan, I'm not quite as cool as you. I don't have all of the fancy lab equipment, but I do have some pretty cool eye protection. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on before I start. Um, if you're doing this at home, you can just use a plate or if you have bowls or the little Dixie cups, you can use those to go ahead and put your ingredients on. I just have mine spread out on a plate and since I don't have a pipette with me, I'm just going to use a glass of water and I'm going to use a spoon and I'm going to carefully drop it on. Alright, so I am noticing some differences in the way that a lot of these ingredients dissolve. While a lot of them look kind of similar to start, they absorb the water and they kind of react a little bit differently. Right here I have my mystery mixture, so I'm going to go ahead and put some water on it and we'll see what happens.
All right, so this one's my mystery mixture. I put some water on it. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it around with my spoon. Again, since we're kind of doing an experiment here, we don't usually like to try and use our hands because we wanna make sure that we're being safe in the lab. So you can kind of see it absorbed it quite a bit, but I'm having a hard time actually sticking my spoon into it a whole lot. It's kind of tough. And it's also kind of grainy as well. I can feel that when I drag my spoon, it's not really very smooth anymore. I wonder if you can try to figure out what my mystery mixture was. Well, based on the reaction with water, or I should say no reaction with water, um, and the look afterwards, we should be able to guess each other's mystery mixtures. For the lab opportunity this week, we're going to see if your team can figure out what's in our mystery mixtures. It might be helpful to test each of the ingredients individually with water, and then after that, if you want to, you can mix some of them together to see if you can try to recreate the same results. Good luck!